Hey guys, long time, no talk. Um, normally I don't do reviews anymore because that guy's supporting does such a great job on it. I don't need to, but I felt this model, in my opinion, was worthy of me doing one. It's one of the more beautiful doses I've actually picked up, and this is the newest edition. Uh, the Cast Masters in 150th scale D6 XE LGP with the black and gray edition for the 175th anniversary or of the dozer being sold. You can tell on here. It's got the normal information of the machine, pictures of the machine, well, the Dacast model itself. Which is, was nicely done up on the tin. I mean, really nice. Because yesterday I went to um, Ed Sidecast to head for a show. I've wanted this since SI. And for the price, it's not bad. You can pick up the yellow for cheaper, but this, I say, is by far the best looking collective edition model there is. So, on with the review. Well, I would stack ass, of course. The lights are plastic, of course. And, of course, of course, all blades go up and down. But the kicker is for this, it doesn't support itself up in there. It just flops down, which is fine. Got the ripper which is tight and will hold any position and if you can see if it will focus about 175th that logo there which is pretty nice all the decals are done up nice and I really do hate this new cat logo but the reason why I bought it is because it's because special edition black and gray, and I just actually loved it because he had one out on display, and well, I, of course, cap pulls off. You can pull Bob in or out. There's the LCD screen and the gauges. So it's the standard gray inside. Got the cat seat, all the controls for the blade and the ripper and whatnot. The floor is etched out with all the power, with the accelerator pedal and decelerator brake pedal. I know a lot of people don't like Bob and they take them out and throw them away or do whatever. Underneath, got the numbers. That guy's master's uh, logo. Got track detoners. Could be a little bit more stiff, but not bad. It will hold the up pose, of course. Tracks will fairly easy without any pressure on. Grills etched out. Of course, stickers right in there. So, so you can see the grill and everything. It's got the little handles. The G6 XE. It's got the AC unit. And I believe that looks like GPS pods there. For the GPS system. The fuel tank. Got the ladder that goes down. Pretty much your basic D6 XE in 150th scale, but worth the buy. Looks good next to the black and gray uh, grader there. So I know I'm a little rusty at this, but I'll be back with another review of the 330 DL by Diecast Masters upgraded hydraulic system. So be on the lookout for that. 
and I definitely recommend this. I'll give this a 10. Normally, I wouldn't give the new logo a 10 and all, but like I said, this is such a beautiful model. Of course, the world is a plastic. If you're going to do a special edition, though, do all metal. But hey, that's just me. So, good job, Dead Gas Masters, on this one. Well done. Hope you guys enjoy this.